All right, guys. Um, today's video is a pretty exciting one. Uh, as some of you may know, I have a uh, Rock Island Armory 1911 and 9mm. Uh, I carry it sometimes. I put ambidextrous safeties on it, but uh, I haven't really had a good holster for it. So what I decided to do was just uh, make one. So I'll show you it now. This is the holster. You can kind of see, I, I uh, hand tooled it, put some cool stamps on it, if I can show you. Um, it's a left hand side, so southpaw. The way it breaks open is, you. Uh, I'll run my hand up here, keep my thumb on the gun, and just snap the button open and grab the pistol out. Fits in there real nice. I made it so that it can stop just in front of the uh, rear sight and uh, there's about uh, I'd say a half inch of leather in front of the uh, muzzle of the gun. But you can see just a quick snap and out. Uh, I really like this. I made it all out of one piece of leather. I'll kind of show you, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, don't get too excited. So you can see it's all hand tooled. Um, I actually ran out of rivets, so I went to my local shoe cobbler and a real nice guy, and he actually attached these two rivets here and here and uh, did the snap for me. But uh, just because we had a Tandy leather here in town and they, <laughs> they moved out, so I haven't been able to buy any or order any. I didn't want to wait. And it was just a couple bucks for him to do this stuff. I was going to do it anyways. Um, but just to kind of cinch up here and here a little bit more, make it more secure for the stitches, the uh, rivets are placed in such a way where they actually cover up the last uh, set of stitches. Um, I did a back stitch on both edges so that it's real nice and secure. Um, I had the button placed in such a way where the safety, it, it goes right about here on the safety. So it helps a little bit with catching that safety and preventing it from lowering down. Um, as you can see, it's all one piece of leather. So I had just cut it out of uh, the single piece and then sewn the one edge. Very happy with it. I really like it. I'm very proud to have made this. Uh, I'm going to keep it this uh, natural leather color. Um, so I got some... Uh, just some wax, like a shoe leather wax that was a neutral color, and uh, have put a layer of it on there, and uh, it should be good to go. So yeah, that's my uh, 1911 holster. I'll reholster it here and or re uh, belt it up, and show you how it goes. Um, and again, this. Rock Island Armory, the Rock Island Armory 1911 is actually a really nice gun. Very, very happy with the quality. For the money, you can't beat it. Um, and I put, you know, I put. You can easily put accessories on it. Um, then putting different sights is going to be a little bit of an issue, just because they're just GI sights. But you can do it. And, um, so yeah, there's the uh, pistol. In its holster, um, the strap actually goes over, uh, so I can carry it cocked and locked, and it will prevent the hammer from dropping. Yeah, again, it's just a quick little and out. Very happy with it. Um, and it's something I can, you know, wear around with pride, knowing that I had made it so here's my cross for sacrifice the wolf for loyalty to my family arrowhead for decisiveness and the mjolnir for strength and creating quick and decisive blows to any enemy i, I have to face um, if i'm out and about and i got to protect myself or my family or people around me uh, 
I think these symbols can, you know, are good luck symbols, and they uh, they add a little bit to the uh, nice design of the holster. I think it's really, really happy with this. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll show you the uh, show you the draw again. So I'm just standing around, and all of a sudden, oh no, threat! Out. So very cool. It fits the fits the fits the gun really nice. Um, I'm real happy with this pistol. Ambi safety. Just a simple GI government model, 1911. Um, yeah, I couldn't be any more pleased with this. It's just really nice uh, holster for the gun. As you can see, I'll kind of bend down there, but yeah, pretty pretty excited about it, guys. Uh, post in the comments if you uh, have ever made your own holsters or knife sheaths or whatever. This is very simple, um, and if anybody's looking to you know get one, I just let me know. I can make you one and send it to you. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all for me now, guys. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.